Like, I just... Oh, wait a minute. Hey gems, it's your girl Mr. Mima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are going to be doing a video featuring these Good American Jeans because... I just really wanted to try them <laughs> but you know I just I keep seeing them everywhere and I'm just like I just really want to try them I want to see if they're really like deserving all the hype that they get like there's so much hype so anyways I did spend my rent money on this pair um I tried to get the cheapest one <laughs> that I could find on the Nordstrom website because I wasn't trying to get got okay I wasn't trying to get got and after this haul, after this video, I still need food to eat, okay? I still need electricity. Uh, so, Chloe, relax, okay? Um, but anyways, here are the jeans. I think I paid $100. Oh, wait a minute. This says $165. I'm not even lying. I did not pay $165 for these. I can tell you that. So, I don't know if that's the market um, retail price or what that's about. Or did I buy this on sale? Because I know for a fact I did not spend 165 on these. Like, I, I would not spend more than 120 But I feel like I spent $100. Um, but anyways, yes. So I got this in a size 24. So, you know, it seems pretty stretchy. My only thing is, y'all know. Well, let me hold it up. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. Wait a minute. wait okay so right off the bat when you look at the jeans the first thing I'm noticing is that the front seems to be lower than the back no you guys know how much I complain about high-waisted jeans being too long in the front okay let me not let me relax because maybe you know it's the way I'm holding it up maybe I don't know because when you first look at it I'm just like god dang this this these pants have a long upper body you know sometimes I feel like I misjudge how much space my fupa takes because <laughs> just looking at it I'm just like god dang these jeans as long as hell okay um but I think I think oh my gosh these might be the first pair of jeans like real jeans that I've purchased where the back is actually longer than the front and I'm just like is this really happening or am I just like holding it wrong or where is that insane oh my god oh my god y'all I think it's really a thing so if I hold down this crotch area and I even it out stop playing with me Oh my God. Guys. Just off the concept alone, these jeans are already at four stars. I don't care if they look trash, just off the concept alone because I'm tired of wearing high-waisted jeans to cover my cheeks, but then the front comes all the way up to my nipples. Like I'm tired of it, I hate it. Um, and that's a problem I had with a lot of my, like, uh, American Eagle jeans. Like, I really enjoy their jeans, but I'm just like, I don't want the front up here, too. Like, clearly, I need material in the back, but the front got to chill. And I feel like, <sighs> okay, let's just try it on because I'm, I'm hyping myself up right now. But I also don't want to face reality because if I'm wrong, I'm going to be hurt. Even though I just lied and said it's going to be a four, that's a whole lie. If it don't fit, it's going to be a zero period to match the zeros behind the one that I paid for this um so I guess we're just gonna try it on y'all oh shout y'all this is such an impromptu video but I just knew I had to I had to record this moment on camera like I just oh wait a minute it, it feel a little tight wait, wait, oh, wait a minute wait a minute how's already tight and it's just at my knee it's just at my knee it didn't even get to my knee. Oh Lord. Y'all, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. 
Okay, maybe you know it's one of those jeans where you just gotta, you gotta pull. Okay, yeah, I think there's some leeway. There's a lot of stretch here. Hold, hold, please. <laughs> the wrong time to film this video but here we are I don't feel like these look any special like I don't think it's doing anything spectacular for the price I paid for it I feel like this looks just like my American Eagle jeans wow I am like really bloated Oof. Oh. Uh, yeah so I don't feel like these jeans look any different from my American Eagle jeans honestly um, Yeah, I mean, they're cute or whatever, but I feel like I'm not getting anything special for the price. And I thought the front was going to be a little lower. I was hoping it would be, but it fits about the same front and back. So at least it covers all the back. But yeah, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. I really wanted like, I don't know what I thought these jeans were going to do. But for the price tag, I mean, bump my credit score a couple points, you know, pay off a little bit of my student loans. Like, I thought it was going to do something for me. Like, I thought the investment was going to mean something. But I mean, they're cute. There's nothing wrong with them. They're cute. I would totally wear them. They're just not special. But, you know, maybe <laughs> I had to pay special to get special. And compared to the price of the other jeans, I did not pay special, okay? Um, but yeah, so like I said, they're cute, but paying for the name, I think. My American Eagle jeans are same quality as these, in my opinion. Actually, the stretch on the American Eagle ones might be better, which could be a good or a bad thing, because so much stretch, I don't think is a great thing. But yeah. I feel like this video is kind of boring. Well, there's no pizzazz or nothing special to see here. So, well, I guess I can now add a $100 jean to my collection. <laughs> Next to my $20 jeans. <laughs> but yeah. Well, glad to have wasted 15 minutes of your life on the end of mine. Okay? Uh, time will never get back. Sounds good. Um, thank you guys for watching, I guess. <laughs> I thought I was going to let Beyonce. What in the... This is a cute little casual look, though. I actually like it better at this art. I mean, they gave you a cute little envelope. What is this? Looking good and doing good. We are good American. Well... Um, if you enjoyed this content, go ahead and uh, give me a like. <laughs> if you didn't, um, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next video, which will probably be more interesting than this one. I feel like I should do a little something for y'all. Y'all, let me tell y'all what I ate. 
had like a, a halal gyro. Mm, it was so good. So they had like the beef. And then they had a little bit of, um, they put lettuce, they put tomatoes, green peppers, olives, onions, um, jalapeno. Ooh, it was so good. And they give you like this little red spicy sauce. Drizzle that thing on there. And they give you this white sauce, which I'm not supposed to be having dairy. I just had a little bit, though, a little razzle dazzle, a little razzle dazzle, sprinkle that on top of the gyro. And y'all, I didn't, mm, it was so good. Oh my god, but it was huge. It was huge. Like, uh, huge. And it was so good. And I haven't eaten since breakfast. So I'm bloated and full. And I just downed literally 10 ounces of coffee. Even though it's 9 o'clock at night. Because I have work to do. So all that is currently sitting in my stomach. Along with air and pressure. So... But you know, for all that to be happening though, these G's are doing a good job of containing. So I guess we can't really be mad. Maybe it is doing something. Mm -hmm. What y'all think? What y'all think? All right, let me stop wasting my time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Toodles. <laughs> Cause what is this? Ooh, what's up my thong?